Hey guys, in this section of data analysis and statistics, we'll be talking about margin of error in algebra 2. But before we learn what a margin of error is, we need to know what is it. Well, it's margin of a random sample defines an interval centered on the sample percentage in which the population percentage is most likely to lie. Now, the thing that you guys need to remember in margin of error is that whenever you solve the problem, if the graph overlaps, it's not an accurate information. That means the survey is not accurate. If it doesn't, well, the survey is accurate. So for example, let's go ahead and solve one example regarding the margin of error that we will talk about and see how the questions are formatted. The question says student in high school will vote on a proposal to start classes late in the day. According to the survey of random sample of students, 54% of the students agree with the proposal and 46% of the students disagree with the proposal. The survey's margin of the error is plus or minus 5%. Does the survey clearly project the outcome of the voting? The thing that you need to focus is, is on how, many, how much percentage did students agree and how much percentage did students disagree. And one more thing is the margin of error. How can we forget the margin of error? So how do you actually go, are you going to solve it? Any ideas? Well, think about it. In this question, it gives you the whole thing. Well, the way how you solve it is basically simple. And it involves arithmetic, long procedure of arithmetic. So how do you solve it? Step one, take the percentages of the number of people that agree. Then add, this, add, add and subtract with the margin of error. Step two, take the percentage of the number of people that disagree. Add and subtract with the margin of error. Now, I will show you on how to do this, but you get the con uh, whole concept here. So how do you actually do this? Step one, you have 54% plus or minus 5%. If we add 54% plus 5%, gives you 59 and 54 minus 5 gives you 49 percentage. Step 2, 46 percent plus or minus 5 percent. 46 percent plus 5 percent is equal to 51 percent and 46 percent minus 5 percent is equal to 49 percent. The next step is that you need to draw a number line and plot this value that you have gotten. That means that you have to separate the step 1 uh, graph with step 2. And you have to figure it out that if whether or not they overlap. Well, if they do, the survey is not accurate, and the result.